What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and after the launch of Star Wars The High Republic, there are some people out there that are really excited for this next phase of Star Wars, but there are also a lot of people out there who are pointing and laughing at everything that happened yesterday, from the trailer to the ridiculous characters that were revealed to the authors doing things that you could only see with Disney Star Wars. This is still Lucasfilm, this is still Disney Star Wars, and a lot of people were reminded of that yesterday as they pointed and laughed at all of it. So I thought that today we could go over some of the things we found out about the High Republic, some of the highlights from this stream, and why so many people think it's hilarious. Uh, now, we're going to use a couple Bounty in the Comics articles for some good info here. Star Wars officially reveals new timeline and multiple new characters as part of High Republic launch. No retcon in sight. Now, this High Republic trailer that so many people were talking about it is being promoted by YouTube. It is now on number two on trending for some reason, even though it's it's not close to being that way. It has three quarters of a million views. Um, there, there are a ton of things that should be trending besides this, but this is YouTube promoting Star Wars, the official Star Wars YouTube channel. They are promoting it as trending. And as it continues to grow, the dislikes continue to grow. Uh, originally, it was about 95% like ratio when it dropped, and then slowly it's gone down. It's now at 69 a 60 69% as the dislikes continue to pour in. And when you look at all the top comments, I have a bad feeling about this. Um, one of the things that you heard in this trailer was that it's a fight for control of the Force itself, which really seems strange to a lot of people given what we know about Star Wars and about the Force. For control of the Force itself, only a Sith deals in absolutes. Disney, for control of the Force itself, fans, that's not how the Force works. For control of the Force itself, I don't know, man. Sounds pretty Sith to me. Um, give us the Old Republic. No one cares about the High Republic. So there are a lot of... They're all the top comments, honestly. Now, uh, kudos to them. They have continued to uh, publish the comments, which we often see them take off on things like this. That ends up getting a lot of hate, but not the case so far. But Kathleen Kennedy is the one who introduced it, as we said. Now, they did reveal this timeline, which wasn't really a reveal. We have seen it before. Um, it's not very detailed. You got the High Republic, the Fall of the Jedi, which includes uh, th the prequels and the Clone Wars animated series. You have Reign of the Empire, Bad Batch, and Solo, a Star Wars story. The Age of the Rebellion, you have Rebels, Rogue One, and then the original trilogy. The New Republic, all you have is the Mandalorian. That's it. And then Rise of the First Order, you have Resistance and the quote-unquote sequel trilogy. The Rise of Palpatine being the last one there. Now, we also got some new characters, and this is this is one of the things I really want to focus on. Claudia Gray introduced a number of characters, including Leox Giasi. So, Leox Giasi, I really think, is the one we should focus on. It is this man right here. He is described as a pilot who has some of this scoundrel energy, but isn't Han Solo at all and somehow my brain was like you need to give 1990s Matthew McConaughey a spaceship and see what would happen now some people have been very quick to point out um Leox Giasi if you rearrange those those that last name it's is gay and uh I, I listen I don't think that was very clever I think it's pretty easy to see through an interesting character there with his uh with his shirt all the way undone uh, I don't know who it's going to appeal to. <laughs> I guess that's yet to be seen. But this is one of those things that so many people had a good time poking fun at. And we've already seen some redesigns for. Uh, this, this is, that is this character. Uh, what's, what is he going to be all about other than 1990s Matthew McConaughey and maybe have a lisp? I, I don't know. Again, only, only time will tell. Uh, so then we also had this character, Ty Yorick. I don't, uh, supposedly a monster hunter, not too interested in that. This one right here. Now, I need to make an apology. I need to make a big apology because I misgendered this individual yesterday. Ram Jamaran, Daniel Jose Older's character. He's a really cool character because he's very mechanically minded. He actually really doesn't like all the stuff, the pomp and circumstance that goes with being a Jedi. He just wants to hide in his garage and repair things. He sort of uses the Force to do that. Not that he has a special power, but he just thinks mechanically. Now, this this character, Ram Jamaran, I, am, I, I apologize, Lucasfilm. I thought this was a woman. I don't know why I thought this was a woman. 
Maybe it's because the jawline. Maybe it's because the features look incredibly feminine. Uh, I, I just, like, let's just be real. I, I shouldn't be blamed for this. I, I retract my apology. I should not be blamed for thinking that this was a woman because it looks kind of like a, a fat woman instead of a fat man. But evidently, especially with that weird bun thing, come on. But evidently... This is a man, or so Daniel Jose Older says. So get ready for some ram jammering in your life. Uh, get ready for that. And then he has these little creatures, the bone bracks that help him out. So again, get get ready. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Can't wait for some High Republic. And then we also got a little bit more about their vision for the High Republic. Charles so confirms the High Republic is a creation of a new version of Star Wars. Now, Charles Soule is someone who has written great, well, great for Disney Star Wars, uh, great comic books before, uh, but this is really his first crack at a novel, at least to the best of my knowledge, especially a Star Wars novel, Light of the Jedi. His was the first one to really kick everything off. Um, and Charles Soule, to be fair, is the one who keeps his politics to himself for the most part, so I do really appreciate that. Unlike people like Justina Ireland, who's also a part of this, who absolutely hates white people. This is just from 2020, tweets of her shitting on white people and hating white people. So shout out to Ichibaka for creating this. This is only 2020, ladies and gentlemen. These are the amount of times in 2020 that she tweeted about hating white people. And then you had one from 2021. I guess mediocre white men are still going to be on here bragging about their mediocrity as though it's a hilarious anecdote instead of pure assholery. So thanks for establishing that baseline early 2021. Uh, there you go. The, the class of Star Wars, the High Republic authors like Justina Ireland. And Charles Soule had an interesting perspective. He basically, when he found out he was going to do this, he put Star Wars movies in there and started watching, which I think is a great thing, a great way to go about writing a Star Wars story. So I know I started by watching all the movies again, and I really focused on what I thought was impressive about Star Wars and what was meaningful about Star Wars to me. The job was to make something that was authentically Star Wars from the ground up, but also really fresh and new and special and powerful. Don't really have any problems with the things that Charles Soule said. Uh, again, he is a guy who has, for the most part, in my opinion, kept his politics to himself. And I appreciate that greatly when I read these stories. He would later confirm he was initially pitched with creating his own Star Wars. I just started by looking at Star Wars and digging in deep and thinking about if I really had this opportunity to make my own kind of Star Wars, what was that and has become? I can't believe it's actually happening. He said, what would that mean to me? I started with the source material and went to there. So I, I do think that starting with the source material is probably the best idea. Then Claudia Gray said something else. She revealed that she looked at other franchise and said what she wants Star Wars to be. And that is, again, the problem. When you have these people that come in there, these activists like Claudia Gray, who she has a, an entire thing full of tweets about her hate of white men as well, of what they want Star Wars to be. That's when we came in there with that High Republic white board where we saw diversity and representation splattered all over the thing and we knew that that was what they would do and in fact Claudia Gray it's no shock that she wanted to bring something else to Star Wars because Claudia Gray uh maybe maybe this was a joke maybe this was funny it likely was but she may have got her fandoms mixed up a little bit and I gotta thank my gotta thank my man Lyndon Hall for putting this little clip together here this is from the stream uh he, he crops it out a little bit so you can see live what happened but uh <laughs> here you go and as always may the force be with you mm. <laughs> there you go I, I'm a Star Wars now. Exactly. Uh, thank you, Lyndon, for clipping that together. But it did happen. That was Claudia Gray. They couldn't even spell her name right. Kaludia. Kaludia Gray. Um, but again, this is the High Republic. Off to such a fantastic start. And again, there's there's Avar Chris, the, the first person we were... We were uh, introduced to when the high republic all went off and again easy to misgender the, the with the style of art that they're using for the high republic but those are just a few of the things that people have been laughing at about this high republic reveal again um this is they're trying to do this connected storytelling which we had for a, a long long time the star wars expanding universe that they dumped in the trash and now they're picking up the pieces and when you go through these things you can so clearly see bits and pieces and stories and arcs from the expanded universe that they threw out that they're going to bastardize and utilize for this 
This could have been something that had me on board if you hadn't decided the very first thing to make it all about identity politics. Because that's that's who the authors are. We've seen it in their work before. We see it all over their social media accounts. We saw in their goals for what they want Star Wars to be. And it's just going to be more of that. Hopefully some people can get a lot of enjoyment out of the High Republic. But for the rest of us, we're going to laugh at what's going on right now. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone. And a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.